Hello students, welcome to a new science class, physics. We have learned about motion, we have learned about time, velocity, displacement, distance and speed. I hope you remember these things. You know what is time. So to measure time we need a counter. We need a stopwatch. That will start when you are observing. You start observing and it will stop when you stop observing. So if you want to measure time, what you have to do is uh, just start observation at the same time, start the stopwatch. It will count the time. So now we have learned about velocity and the speed. So we can move to acceleration. So you know what is acceleration? I just explained acceleration in last class. Acceleration is change in velocity divided by time or it is the rate of change of velocity. If an object is moving, for example, a car is moving, its velocity is changing, then there will be acceleration. If there is no change in velocity, there is no acceleration. So when you first see the object, that velocity is called initial velocity. And when you stop observing, that velocity is called final velocity. Then acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Time you can get from the time. For example, let's see a car. A car is moving. When you start observing it, the velocity is initial velocity. And when you stop observing it, it's final velocity. Then the time you will get back from the counter. Then the acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. I hope you understood that. Then we will come to three cases. The, uh, the acceleration is zero. Acceleration is negative, acceleration is positive. When the object is not changing its velocity, what is the change in velocity? Zero. Then the acceleration will be change in divided velocity divided by time. There is no change in velocity, so the acceleration is equal to zero. Another example, you observe the car. The car is moving, but finally it stops. So the initial velocity is not zero, but the final velocity is zero. So when you substitute these values in, change in velocity divided by time, that is final velocity, that is zero minus the initial velocity divided by the time taken by the car to move that distance. Then you will get a negative value, that means it's negative velocity, negative acceleration. Suppose uh, the object is moving with the same speed, then you will get acceleration is equal to zero. Let's consider another case, the acceleration is positive. Suppose an object is starting from rest, what is its initial velocity? You can see a car, it is initially at rest, then it is increasing its speed or velocity, then it is gaining a velocity when you stop observing it. So when you started the initial velocity that was zero, sorry, zero, and when you stopped observing it was moving with a definite velocity. Then the velocity, uh, the change in velocity will be final minus initial, that will be a positive value then that divided by time is equal to a positive value. So these are the three cases. The acceleration can be zero when the change in velocity is zero. And the acceleration is negative when the change in velocity is negative. And the acceleration is positive when the change in velocity is positive. I hope you understood the concept. 